Welcome to the channel for the first time viewers. Welcome back for my existing subscribers. Today we're going to go over a quick little game that um, I saw somebody playing. It was Level Cap Gaming, which I'm going to link his channel in the description. It's a game called Iron Sight. Now, Iron Sight is a first person shooter. It's free to play. It is in open beta right now. It's PC only as far as I know. And I was trying to find out when the beta would end for anybody that was interested in trying it. It's still going on right now as of March 7th. Um, but they don't actually have a, a set date. It's just been going on since February 1st. So let's go ahead and talk about Iron Sight, what I like about it, and why I think you guys should give this game a try, especially if you have a PC. First and foremost, I think that this game, Iron Sight, has a lot of potential because there's been a big void in Call of Duty, for instance. Um, that was like the biggest first person shooter. It's what kept me playing console for so long. And as soon as I just started not enjoying Call of Duty as much, I started to broaden my, you know, my horizons and try out some other games, which led me into Rainbow Six Siege. And from Siege, I love Siege so much that I ended up just going ahead and buying a PC because it's better on PC. Now, what I like about this game is that the screen that I'm showing you here and what I had in the bottom corner before is how you purchase weapons, right? Now, you can buy weapons just like you could in Call of Duty Black Ops 1, which I loved. If you like a, if you like a specific gun, you got to save up the in-game currency for it, and then you could just buy that specific gun. It's not something that's random. Um, although this does have some paid features, like you can pay for some like elite skins, which are pretty cool, like some of the guns. Um, you'll see that I'll be using one here shortly, but there's a, um, it's like a SG556 or something like that. Anyways, it's that type of gun. So you pick up this gun and it has an elite skin on it, which also comes with an elite animation for reloads. And I don't mind that system either because you can just purchase the item that you want with your real life money. Now, one thing that I will say about this game is that it's very hard to look at it and not compare it to Call of Duty, especially when I made a video about this on Instagram, just a quick clip. Um, everybody was comparing it to Black Ops 2. And I have to say that, you know, it does kind of play and look like Black Ops 2. What I love about this game is the level design, man. The level design is on point, right? It's not, it's a free to play game. So it's not this big, big budget game, but it also doesn't force you into choke points. It doesn't force you into like one specific area. Like <clears throat> you'll see here in a little bit that I actually go around the map uh, to get to their objective. But that's just some of the things that this game allows you to do. And with good level design on a shooter, I think that's one of the first steps that and good shooting mechanics. Because I mean, if your shooting game doesn't have good mechanics, that's kind of pointless, right? So good level design and good shooting mechanics is like the first step to success. I really hope this game takes off and I actually hope that it actually makes its way to console as well because if it does, there really is no free to play first person shooter that's like amazing, like a really, 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 really good first person shooter. I mean, I remember playing Blacklight Retribution, but that wasn't really, I didn't really think that was an amazing game, you know? But this game is actually really, really good. And if they were to release it for console, I think their popularity would grow exponentially. Um, but let's focus on the PC first and make sure that they release this game. Because this game does have a few bugs. Um, what I have been able to see is that people actually can float off the map. It's just weird as hell. They'll just be walking and it's almost like they get abducted and they just start floating off into space and end up shooting. They, they're still active, like it's not like Call of Duty or some other games when you go off the map, you kind of just die. No, these dudes are still active like in space and you can just turn around and shoot them. But if you're not looking off the map, they can kill you. That's the biggest, uh, the biggest glitch I've seen so far. Other than that, I played about two hours of it and I'm still loving this game. I was gonna make this video yesterday, but it took me a little bit of time and I was trying out um, downloaded Fortnite, told my followers I would try that. But nonetheless, here we are. So all in all, I would definitely recommend this game if you have a console and PC and were disappointed in the, the newest Call of Duty game. Uh, because this game does deliver the same rush that you get from Black Ops 2. And I really, really feel that if the community kind of gets behind this game, and we start getting a little bit of buzz going around it, it could take off. And if they released it on console, there's no telling how fast they could grow. So give this game a try, it's free. So it really doesn't, it's not gonna cost you anything but your time. And the one downside about the whole download process that I did not like is you have to actually get it from their their specific site. Like you have to go to Ironsight Game, 
dot area games or whatever the website is you could just google ironside game matter of fact here's what i'll do for you i'll put the link to their website right in the description along with level caps channel so you can just click on that if you're interested for pc um, but i didn't like that you had to download it straight from their website i typically like to use uh one of the sources like steam or uh, origin just because uh, i don't know i feel like they're bigger companies it's kind of like a false sense of security that i have but then again, if you play uh, Fortnite, then you already know all about that system because you have to get Fortnite directly from Epic Games. So it's not a bad thing. It's just like it's different for me. That's all. So I'll leave you with this. I hope you have a good day. If you're not already a subscriber, consider subscribing. And if you do end up playing this game because of the video, then go ahead and tell me what your thoughts are of it. What, is it, what does it remind you of? How did you like the controls? And how do you like the responsiveness? Just a couple things. Answer a couple questions for me down there in the comment section so we can have a conversation. All right, folks. Well, you take it easy and I will catch you on the next one. Deuces.